Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zara B and this is my world. Welcome back guys. Today in this video, well, before we even start, if you're new here today, my name is Zara B. I am the owner of Kalik Park Urban Apparel which is Muslim streetwear and I created this channel to literally showcase my journey and show you guys how I uplift myself using my religion and my clothing brand. So in today's video we've got a new drop. It is called Journey to Jannah. Jannah means heaven in Arabic. I am a practicing Muslim so everything I do I surround my religion with it. If you like it, I, I, I'm so grateful. Well, not really grateful. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, that is solely your business. Any comments or anything regarding my products or anything regarding my religion, please feel free to ask me. Don't just leave comments you know confusing yourself and making yourself out to be ignorant i don't mean no disrespect to anybody but my last video my last couple of videos um where i did my product started from adam now we're here t-shirt somebody left a comment saying oh if adam was here and he had two kids and blah, blah like i'm a muslim if you want the answer of why we see Adam as the first human being, then refer back to the Islamic teachings, the teachings of the Prophet, peace be upon him. The Quran itself will give you all the information you need. Um, you need. So don't just leave comments asking people like, we don't know the religion or we don't know what we're doing. We're just making products for the sake of making products. We ain't got time for that. Before you start a business, you have to do your research. You have to understand your niche, your target audience, your marketing, your branding, your everything. I wouldn't just start up a business without knowing what I'm doing and just putting stuff on products um, to sell them without having a meaning behind it. So I hope that little speech there has rectified everything for those people, them in that video. Bakar don't believe in things under my videos that you know yeah man just understand what you're doing and don't come across ignorant and don't presume that people don't know their religion or what their teachings are i know exactly what my religion is i've studied three years in syria in 2002 no i'm not a part of isis or anything like that you're ignorant if you think like that as well um, and I understand my religion for a whole three years. I've had to understand my religion and from there I've grown. So Alhamdulillah wa shukrullah for everything. I can read and write Arabic. I can read the Quran in Arabic. Do you get me? So <laughs> don't just be looking at people like people don't know what they're doing and they're just putting stuff on products. Anyway, back to the video. In today's video, our new product is going to be Journey to Jannah. In the last video, we set up this speedball 20 inch frame and I'm going to use my Bella and Canvas blank t-shirts. I'm going to use white and then hopefully I'm going to get some black joggers to go with them to give it like its complete look. So this is already set up nice and ready and this is the paint that I'm going to be using. It's still speedball as well. Um, you get four in the packet when you buy it. I think the time I bought it, if I can remember, was around $24.99. But um, I, I need to go back. This was ages ago. So I just kept them, you know, ready for when I'm going to do my screen printing. So I need to invest in more ink, obviously, and get bigger tubs because I'm not going to be able to just see it. Literally, this will probably do me for like two products and that's about it. So... We're going to be using the black, but I did say maybe a navy blue, but you see, let's do the black, it's calm, because uh, the design has two sections to it. Um, the center design, center chest design is going to be Kalik Park Urban Apparel, which is the name of my brand, and then Muslim Streetwear underneath that. And then this big design here is going to be on the side of the t-shirt like the side here 
yeah so guys we're gonna get ready for that after you put the paint on the t-shirt itself you have to use your your gun to to dry it up this was dead cheap this was i think it was 20 pounds and then delivery five pound but um you can get it from like um tool tool shop the tool shop there's one across from me and i think they sell it at 25 pounds but i got it for 20 pound 19.99 basically and i think it was 4.99 delivery so this will be used to literally dry up the paint the screen paint you know very useful tool you know and then we're going to hang them up to dry basically so that i can do the other section the center um chest design using htv vinyl and my cricut machine all right guys so i'm just going to set up everything that i need like my my thingy magic to spread the the paint and then i've got this stick to just help me scoop the paint you know this to help get the fine details and make sure everything look crisp on the design this to scoop the paint but i think i got this as a full package it was really cheap as well so you get this whole little set thing um to help you start screen printing it was dead cheap i think it was like under 15 pound or so but uh, this is mine <laughs> i think it's my mum's actually it's really really old i've had it for neon years but i'm just using it to put the stuff inside so that i don't get my other workspace you know full of paint and whatnot so that is all ready for me and now we're just going to set everything up and put the paint down all right guys i've literally just got one coat to be able to do because I thought I bought more. <laughs> I honestly thought I bought more paint, but I haven't. So this one, we're just going to slide this bad boy up on here so we can use the scroungy thing to just see. There's not enough under. I should have put more masking tape on, but you know, do your thing. Spread it out spread it out so you know that it's going to touch the whole side be careful i should be wearing gloves you know but um i'm trying to keep it cute so just spread out the be careful with the paint you don't want to waste it as well but you do want your design to have enough on there so you can scoop it back up when you've finished so that you can use it on your next design so i'm trying to not waste it so that this design can come out nice and then i can purchase some more god willing hopefully in like a bigger tub so that everything looks crisp when i'm doing my content I've got enough materials there. I honestly thought I bought more, but I think it needs a little bit more, you know. So that is done. Put your paint aside. Take your scroungy thing, or whatever you call this thing. It's, it works charms. Making sure that my design is where it needs to be. It's a side print on the side here. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to hold down your thing and make sure the paint, oops, what am I doing there? Make sure the paint is all over the design, basically. You see the way I'm doing that? So you're, you're really supposed to use the paint again. So I'm just bringing it up 
making sure that it's gone on every single section of my design so that hopefully i don't know what i'm doing there but hopefully that is completed hopefully and then that is why i've got this thing here to be able to scoop the paint back into the paint tub thing to use it again on the next design car uh, i can see why screen printing companies would um, charge people 25 pounds to set up a screen I, I see why now and then Okay, let me just bring you guys a bit closer so that you can really see what's going on here. Zoom in a little bit. I love this Sony camera. It's good for content. It's the Sony ZV-1. And what you're supposed to do is just literally pick it up. Okay, so for the first trial, that wasn't too bad let me just put this screen down so you can see here the mistake that i made right before we even take the t-shirt off to see the mistakes that we've made and what we can rectify for the next one is we're going to use this bad boy here and just to dry up the paint I'm just going to dry up the paint, you know, go through the motion, go through the procedure, make sure that I know what I'm doing for next time so it's quicker. So. you get me we don't want to burn up the whole thing but yeah guys so you see you gotta be careful while i'm doing this i don't need to be putting it so close because look it's got brown marks now meaning the thing was about to burn <laughs> yeah so i think i'm gonna keep it on number one and just blow it gently and if it doesn't you know completely dry the way i want it to dry i will just hang it up on a hanger and allow it to dry on its own all right so that's all right okay all right we've used that <clears throat> we know now the mistake that we've made first of all when you're using when you're using permanent vinyl to set up a screen you basically okay can you guys see that i actually like the way that that flows like that okay let me just zoom out okay so this is the design basically you can you saw it on the screen but the mistakes that i made for this one when you're using permanent hdv permanent but permanent vinyl to set up your screen you have to make sure that it sticks on everything you, you have to make sure that on the mesh it's st sticking like on the mesh properly and there's no gaps and stuff so i thought i could just wing it and the, the paint will just come out the way it's supposed to come out you know in my head it's come out perfect so i i just did that thinking it will come out perfect but as you can see here i've got a lot of ink paint that has come seeped through the design and it's in places where it's not supposed to be and you can see where the paint is trying to get to the you know the other end of the logo but it wasn't enough like there so that means i have to press on hard onto the thing and just slide it down properly 
so i'm i'm not even mad at this because you know if at first you don't succeed dust yourself off and try again so i want to be perfect in this new skill in screen printing i don't want to just do it for the sake of doing it and then waste money waste products you know i want to be able to do it properly so that it can be a proper skill for me so i have to definitely just be careful with the paint make sure that the design you know the htv vinyl is all well and good but i think i'm gonna do the screen burn the screen instead and just do it like that but this needs just a little bit more drying and that's about it it was ready to go but yeah guys be careful when you're trying to dry out the paint don't get too close to the product because it will start burning like here you can see it started to burn <laughs> do you know it, this ain't no hazard <laughs> you know be careful what you're doing but at the same time enjoy it as well and pat yourself on the back for your mistakes because you know your mistakes can turn into definite wins and practice makes perfect so guys you saw what we did today the next one's going to be better god willing and um, this is journey to jannah jannah means heaven in arabic and it, this is literally my journey to jannah <laughs> god willing so it didn't come out the way it was supposed to but you know at least we tried something something with the screen printing today so i'm going to keep practicing and then in the next video hopefully we will do another t-shirt but right now as you can see i've got to clean up yeah so thank you for joining me in today's video don't forget to like share and subscribe you know help her sister grow and i will see you guys in the next video peace out